So now we have all the substrate or uh, the solder that decompose solder in almost all the plastic caps that we have the disposables. Now let's see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So from just a slide of mirror, we are going to produce 32 plants of watermelons and the result will be marvelous we believe that we eat what we produce and we produce what we eat you don't need to go to the market to buy melons all the time you can produce your own melons so these are the seeds that we squeezed now after getting all the substrate in there we need to add water So this is an ordinary water. So it's almost so we are going to add the seeds to each container here these are the seeds that we squeeze these are the seeds so one for one keeping them one for one One for one, each cup per one melon seeds. One melon seed contains For practical purpose, I think each cup now contains the melon seeds. Now there is a remaining seeds here. We are going to plant all these seeds as stick. We are going to plant these seeds as stick. And then we see this is the next one. We are going to next it. After some period, we shall plant all these and we shall give you the results. So in a nutshell, we are producing just watermelon in our home. It's just simple and straightforward. Now, all this shall be left here and it is going to be here for some days. Then we move to the field for the actual planting of our cabbage so the nashe we've been able to fix the seeds we've sown the seeds in there and they are in here they will stay here for some days and then we take it to the main field for planting thank you see here also 
watermelons melon seeds these are melon seeds we are going to plant all in the scenery in our snow pen so that they can also feed on it while it also continues to provide shade so we have all inclusive structure an artificially created natural environment in an experiment to show that light is necessary for the germination of watermelons plants at the end of the experiment we realized that all the seeds which were kept indoors germinated but had their direction towards the source of light had their direction towards the source of light now the ones that we kept under direct sun also had their direction towards upwards showing directly to the sun meaning that watermelon seeds require some amount of light in order to germinate in this same experiment we were trying to know because most of the seeds that we have or most of the seeds available literature shows that some of them require light whilst others does not require light at all some of them would germinate indoors or in darkness that is when they begin to germinate when you subject them to source of light they do not germinate at all so we decided to check and try and see whether watermelon is having light as its condition necessary for germination in a nutshell when you look at the conditions necessary for germination we can see that conditions like water oxygen temperature and the light are conditions necessary for germination but light is not needed by most of the plants but in our case we did this experiment and today we kept these seeds indoors and now they've germinated but they are heading towards the source of light if you see these ones they are all heading towards the source of light these ones are also heading towards the source of light this is the source of light they are all heading towards that place and then you can see these ones are also heading towards that place we will also show you the result that we had from the ones that we kept under direct sunlight and we see their direction so in this experiment we basically decided to show you that watermelon require light as a condition for its germination when planted now let's look at the two these were placed under direct sun rays and you can see that they are growing upwards they are growing upwards to meet the sun but these were kept indoors and the only source of light that was subjected to them is through the window but at the end of the experiment we realized that they were growing but moving towards the direction of the sunlight and these ones were also planted on the same day with this but was kept under direct sun rays and you can see that they are growing upwardly and these ones are growing diagonally so this is a true indication that watermelon seeds require light for its germination therefore it is advisable that in planting watermelon you need to plant it under direct sun rays these seeds are upright growing directly towards the sunlight but these ones are kind of diagonal growing towards the source of light growing towards the source of light so far this is our findings on watermelon seeds we shall grow or plant all these seeds on the field and also look at the performance Thank you very much.